right now. Josh in the 62 is hoping to have the motor to get by Brendan Butterbean Queen in that 03. Lap traffic is there. Three cars in a row. You got the 31 of Cole Bruce, who's been involved in a couple wrecks. He moves up. He gets in there. He gets to the inside. Three wide again. Cole Bruce is there as well. Oh, more contact down the back straight away. Cole Bruce has been in the middle of all of it, and Josh Berry has taken the lead. He used the lap traffic perfectly. Brendan Queen furiously trying to get back to the inside of Josh Berry. Moves Josh up the racetrack off of turn number two. He's back to that left rear quarter panel. Brendan Queen moving Josh Berry. You see the brake rotors glowing on the front end of that 62 machine. These two giving it all they've got. Brendan Queen back to the lead at Southern National. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is that going to be the case for Butterbean Queen in the 62 of Josh Berry? Josh gets there. He walked up the racetrack a little bit, but he checked up. They're drag racing to the line. 23 laps to go in the Thanksgiving Classic. And this time, Queen loses out on the high side of the racetrack. But here he comes on a crossover move, trying to get back to that left rear corner. Double file lap traffic in front of him. Bryant goes up the racetrack. Donnelly goes up the racetrack, and that allows Queen to get back under. Which way is Aaron Donnelly going to go? Almost got clipped there, but a crossover move for Josh Berry. He looks to the inside. He uses the pick of Aaron Donnelly, but Butterbean crossover again. He's on the apron. More contact. They're sideways off the exit of the corner. Josh Berry takes the lead. 21 laps to go, and Butterbean gets him again. He got him again, and here comes Queen once again. Some of the best late model stock car racing you will ever see. Trading the lead back and forth. Brendan Queen, Josh Berry, they're through the lap traffic. Queen back to the lead. 20 laps to go. Red brake runners going, and they moved him up the racetrack in turn number two. Berry kind of pushing Queen up through the racetrack there. He's back to his left rear corner. They're still side by side off turn number four. And if you could be here at Southern National Motorsports Park, the fans are on their seat. They bought the tickets to sit down, but not a butt is in them at the moment. They're all track side and on the fence watching two incredible short track racers. He moves him up again to the inside. Nine or 18 laps to go. Can Benden Butterbean Queen win it for the first time? Cade Honeycutt might be in the catbird seat here in that third spot. He's making some time up on this battle. As, ooh, oh, Barry oh, gets oh. into Queen, moves him up the racetrack. Queen saves it up high in turn number four. They're side by side, and here comes Queen to the outside. He's going to send it full send on the outside in turns one and two. Barry out front. That's probably going to change in turn number three. If you bought a ticket to this one, if you're watching a race in America, uh, Brenda Queen gets him again. He sends him into three. Drag Races to the line. They're side by side once again. 16 laps to go. I promise you, you did not miss out if you paid the $12.99 on Race in America because this racing alone is worth every penny of it. Is Queen. Here and comes, comes Honey Cut. Here comes Honey Cut to the bottom of the racetrack. He's going to make it three wide for the lead in turn one. Honey Cut to the left rear of Brendan Queen. They're still three wide for the lead. Barry to the outside. Queen to the middle. Honey Cut down low. The brake rotors continuing to glow on Josh Berry's Ford Mustang. It's Honeycutt to the lead. Here comes Queen back to the bottom. He moves Honeycutt up the racetrack. Berry has to go high. They're still three wide for the lead. Boy, if you, you want to talk about a late model stock car race, you're looking at the greatest right here. He hits him again into three off the exit of four. Brendan Queen has absolutely harassed the back bumper of the 62 of Josh Berry, washes him up the racetrack. Berry almost touches the PJ1 there drag racing down the back straight away Caden Honeycutt the 17 your pole sitter he's there they're coming to 12 laps to go it's the best race you'll ever see put on between Brendan Queen Josh Berry Caden Honeycutt is in this Berry floating high Honeycutt to second Brendan Queen here still comes your Jonathan leader. Finley another pat joining this party Barry washes up high Finley trying to take advantage of that spot it's now a four car battle for the lead don't expect to have our voices tomorrow, and these drivers are not going to have any type of arm muscle to go. They've wheeled these cars for over 100 plus laps, 239 of them to be exact. Brendan Butterbean Queen holds the lead, 10 laps to go in the 2023 Solid Rock Carriers Thanksgiving Classic. And how has he got anything left to fight with? Because Honeycutt came from over a straightaway back. He saw what was happening in front of him, and Queen somehow 
through sheer will and determination is continuing to lead the Thanksgiving Classic now with nine laps to go. Honeycutt was a lap down 50 laps ago. He's come all the way back, your pole sitter, to run in second. Josh Berry doesn't look like he's got anything left in third. Jonathan Finley, fourth, Jared Fryer is in the fifth spot, but up front it is Brendan Queen trying to hold off Caden Honeycutt and win $15,000 here in the Thanksgiving Classic. You still see the smoke coming out of the right side of that 17 Mustang for Caden Honeycutt. Seven laps on the board to go. Can Brendan Butterbean Queen add this prestigious race to his resume? Or can Caden Honeycutt continue his impressive streak that he's had this season from ARCA to late models to the trucks and hopefully running in a higher form of NASCAR at some point in time? Has the talent. Can he use that talent to get past Butterbean, one of the best late model stock car drivers on the planet today? And driving for Lee Pulliam, a four-time NASCAR weekly series champion Caden Honeycutt he's driving for Chad Bryant racing or for the you know RNS race cars and and it's such a such a great experience amongst these two teams in the top two right now so many hundreds of late model stock car wins all combining here at the front of this field it's a Virginia driver versus a North Carolina driver nose to tail three and a half laps to go Pit them up against each other, state to state. They're nose to tail right now. They're coming to three laps to go. Can Caden Honeycutt back up his pole time and get the win? Can Brendan Butterbean Queen win this race? He's tired of finishing second. When does Caden Honeycutt make the move? They go through turns three and four. They'll see the popsicle sticks from the flagman, Brendan Willard, two laps to go. You see Brendan Queen sliding off of turn number four. Here comes Caden Honeycutt to the back bumper of Brendan Queen. A lap and a half left to go. Honeycutt looking to the inside. He tried to get there to that left rear quarter panel. He couldn't do it. White flag in the air. One more time around. Honeycutt's going to have one more shot at it. Into turn number three. Queen gets on the gas. Honeycutt gets on the gas. The gap is too big. Honeycutt did all he could, but a bridesmaid no more. It's Brendan Queen winning the 2023 Solid Rock Carriers Thanksgiving Classic at Southern National Motorsports Park. Caden Honeycutt's going to have to settle for second. Josh Berry can't make it three in a row. He comes home in third. 